guys, today we're going to go over our seed inventory of what we saved from our garden last fall. And we're going to just take a look at what we have and see what we're going to start seeding because the seed catalogs are rolling in. It's a really exciting time of year and we're looking through it and all googly eyed and loving everything we're seeing. But first we got to take a look at what we have saved and now uh, we'll, kind of, we'll kind of go from there. So you're about to see where we store our seeds. Not the prettiest part of the house, but uh, it's the most practical. So let's go take a look. I told you it's a dark dungeon in here, and even the bulb went out, so it's even darker. So um, we have our seeds right here. They're in paper bags, but I'm going to bring them up so you guys can see better. All right, we're going to head upstairs and go through them. Now you saw the least prettiest part of our house, but you know what? We can't complain because I grew up in my parents' farmhouse. I was from like the 1800s. And we had two basements, but the one basement was still open to the ground. It was always so creepy. All right, so I'm gonna make some room on the table. As you guys can see, I've gotten real colorful here because I'm so sick of seeing just brown. So we've been adding a ton of color in the house. As you see, we just use your typical paper grocery bag to store them in. Um, this just ensures it to be even darker. Okay, so in this bag, it looks like a lot of like fall harvest seeds. In this one, okay. All right, you guys are gonna wanna see this. In this one, we have a whole bag full of the mammoth sunflowers. We're still gonna order some fresh new ones. Um, because we don't want to have a failed crop, even though I'm sure that they'll germinate and they'll be okay. I still like to intermix some fresh seeds, so that way um, we ensure a good crop just in case. You know, we only have so many months here in Wisconsin to grow, so it, it's always upsetting if a big area fails, like our pumpkin patch. And you guys witnessed that through the Just Life in the Garden last year, our garden vlog. And in there we documented, you know, that was part of the documentation of our garden and it was a failure. It's always disappointing, but this year, we're going to be prepared. We're going to get it this year. Yeah. Right here we have our Pro Cut sunflowers. This is the Pro Cut orange. The Pro Cuts are a cut flower sunflower. I had somebody ask me, what, what's a cut flower sunflower? Well, they're all pretty much a cut flower because you can cut it at any time and show it off in a vase or somewhere pretty in your home or outside. Um, but these are the perfect size for bouquets. They're the ones that you see in the store. Um, they have the perfect formation. Um, they come in different colors as well. We get these on Johnny's, but we did save some. So we're gonna try this this year. This is our first time saving the Pro Cuts. Oh, okay. We've got our nasturtiums. All right, so oh, we have yeah, those the, are good ones. Yeah, this was my favorite color was the tangerine. Uh-oh. What? As you guys can see here, I stored them before I allowed them to dry out all the way and they got moldy. So, new nasturtium seeds are going on the list. <laughs> <laughs> so any failure of storage, we're gonna put over here. So I'm also assuming that our multicolored ones are doing the same. Yes, ew, I'm not even gonna touch them. So if you guys don't allow your seeds to have a long enough dry out time and then you go ahead and store them, this is what can happen. So I wanted to be able to share this fail with you so that way you guys can learn from our failure here. <laughs> yep. But that's okay, that's all right. Because nasturtium seeds are too much, but you know, and we'll probably have how many receding next year anyway. But we'll right. See. We've got sun sugar tomatoes. Well, the sun sugar tomatoes look okay. And these are ones that we're gonna start seeding now, not for our gardens, but just to get some started early so we have some fresh eats in either May or June, depending on how much sun we get, we're gonna get these going in the greenhouse. We'll seed start them in the house. Once they start germinating and pop up, then we're gonna um, escort them out to the greenhouse <laughs> so that way they continue to grow under the natural light. And right over here, is where we seed start all of our plants. And here's our squash mashed potato seeds. It was a new one for us last year, but I didn't love it. I did. I thought they were pretty good, so. I think it's just because I had in my head, like, you know. Was she loves taste. mashed potatoes I big love. time. <laughs> hey now, hey. <laughs> I do, I do. Um, with butter. 
But um, it was okay. The girls didn't love it either. I should have just maybe called it something else for the girls. And these seeds are okay too. So at the end of the season, I went ahead and tried seed saving for like some different perennials and shrubs. So that's what some of these are in here. I don't know if they're gonna germinate. So these are definitely seeds that I'm going to start off with first to see if they germinate because if they do, a lot of that, uh, that stuff is always slow growing. So for example, we have a Japanese maple bush. Mm. Will it germinate? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Find out. Okay. Tall ribbon grass, will that germinate? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Blue delphiniums, they better because I've seeded these before, but we'll see. Kong pastas, I have no idea, but we'll see. <laughs> And let's see what else is in there. The last one. Jerobro. <laughs> What's this one? And these ones are just regular hostas. Why did I put any regular <laughs> hostas? <laughs> these are our fun experimental trial seeds. Are you guys ready to see what's in this bag? I know I am because I kind of forgot what we seed save. So this is kind of fun. It's like for me, this is Christmas morning, and it's also Christmas morning when the seed catalogs come in. It's Christmas morning when the seeds finally come in, so let's just see what we've got here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lawrence Network. Pulling out. Wow, I didn't realize we saved so many seeds, hon. Huh? Awesome. We saved purple basil. Ooh, we should get our herbs going. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put our herbs to the side. Purple basil is one of my favorites. It smells amazing and it looks amazing in the garden with its dark purple leaf and then it gets a purple plume flower on it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It smells a little bit like black licorice, but I always take a few leaves off and shake the plants so that way that whole area in the garden smells amazing whenever we're out there, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one is, oh, our snapdragons in the pink and purple color. So we'll keep those, but we don't need to get those started yet. We've got the bronze snapdragons. We've got our broccoli seeds. We've got our lunchbox peppers, which is our favorite. We can maybe get some of those going. Yeah. All right. Um, Blue angel salvia. That's a great one too. The blue angel salvia is one that we will be starting earlier. Um, it, it was a, it's a very late bloomer otherwise. It doesn't bloom until late summer, but it is worth the wait. It's like the most truest of the ocean blue, and it has just like delicate little flowers that swipe off of a plume, and the hummingbirds and butterflies are just like drawn to it, so it's awesome. And it has a little bit of a citrus smell to it, um, the flower. We've got the Dolce Fresca Basil, the small cherry peppers. Those are like little snack size. We're gonna get those going. Yep. The big blue salvia. The big blue salvia is a larger uh, variety of salvia and it gets just a ton of blue plumes. Another hummingbird and butterfly attractor along with the bees. We got the spicy basil. Yep, I like, I like that, that one. The spicy basil is good. Yeah, it's too spicy for you, huh? Tastes just like basil, but spicy. The mint, which we need because my mint looks rough. Vine basil, favorite smelling basil ever. Yep. When it's dry, oh, it's amazing. Oregano, let's get it going. And scarlet snapdragon, so these are our red ones. And we've got the Victoria Blue Salvia. You guys know that this is like my number one favorite annual flower. Um, it's just non-stop flowers from early spring to the time the garden dies. That's our seed saving for the year. That's it. All right. Yeah. We're going to put away the seeds that we are not using, pack them back into the bag, back into the basement. So this was our first year seed saving that many varieties. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and seed start a lot of different things early just to see 
what actually is worth seed saving, what the germination percentage rate is, and we'll do a video on seeding those up and in the Just Life in the Garden series, we'll start uh, showing you know how they're coming along, what's germinating, what's not germinating. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lawrence Network.